it's been a while since I played someone that was kind of uh, really uh, basic in terms of their <laughs> thought processes. You know that they, they're, he's extremely uh, emotional and everything's just kind of right on his forehead. Thought you wanted to be in charge. You just served me up to him in the rakes. Jesus Christ, Pop, you gotta tell Abby, cut this out. We're gonna lose everything. We? No. The mall, your house, everything you have, I gave you. Gave me I took what I deserve. Remember, Sergeant Major? And I think that that is really a fascinating character for me to play. You know, somebody that's uh, easily provoked, you know, a bully that's, yeah, he's, he's you know, he's basic. And so that's, that's fun and sometimes really hard to, to play. Essentially, that was the first scene that I filmed. Uh, as happens in television sometimes, and movies, you know, you film wildly out of order. So that, that was the very first thing that Lizzie and I filmed together, was that scene. And, you know, it was, you know, there were lots of pulleys and puppets and things to make all that happen in the way that it looked, but it, it, was, it was pretty funny, actually to shoot that scene first. I mean, a little bit, I, I, of course, I saw Stand By Me and, you know, uh, love Kiefer Sutherland and um, uh, uh, lobbied for some Hawaiian shirts uh, that didn't turn up, but uh, I know a little bit about him, yeah, and the needful things. I know where he sort of come from. He comes from, I know that he's, you know, he's the bully. You know, he's the Stephen King bully guy. And so I, I was familiar with, with who he was, yeah. Yeah, you know, this was a subject of debate when we, when we were first sort of figuring out the rules, which I think you have to do with uh, the supernatural is like, there's a certain amount of trying to figure out like, what are going to be the rules? You know, do they feel pain? How much of, is Ace gone? Or is Ace still kind of in there? And, um, you know, I'll sort of leave it to people what they interpret. But to me, Ace is, is in there. You know, he's, he's not in the sort of, uh, in the lead position, but he is around and I think that uh, Augustine has like access to him if he wants him, but also uh, is using the things that Ace knew and knows as to his advantage. And so, yeah, he's in there. The things to like sort of keep in mind are uh, themes that are always kind of relevant to Stephen King. You know, there's, there's, there's always a group that's trying to sort of infect and find their way into everything. And so I think that that, that will continue. I think it will be interesting to see his relationship with uh, Annie Wilkes uh, and whether or not it develops into anything. You know, he, he, he is not killing and sort of maiming and taking over indiscriminately. I mean, I think there's there's a plan, and so it's pretty, it's pretty interesting to see what that plan is. Yeah, we're both in the same show. That's what I can tease. <laughs> um, we, we'll, we'll see if, uh, uh, you'll have to watch and see, but I, I, it's possible that there's some connection between those two. It seems hard to imagine that they would be able to avoid each other. He's looking for something in particular and that perhaps there's some sort of connection to her that she, there's something about her that um, Ace is drawn to. And so um, we'll have to see like what exactly that is. I'm not sorry, you know. About what? Killing you. <laughs> it's a nice dream, the killing me dream. I suppose there are a lot of people around here 
who've had that same dream? I think that the way those two interact with one another will be very interesting. It really is the sort of origin story of, of Annie Wilkes. I think you really start to understand a lot about like who that character is, and so we'll, we'll find out about her. Uh, will this, this evil that appears to have um, entered into Castle Rock be quelled, or will it like, continue to grow, I think, uh, is the, one of the big questions. I feel like a lot of Stephen King's stories, you know, si sides get sort of drawn, and you, you're on one or the other, and they're really sort of like battling for the soul of like a particular place, and I think that that battle is coming. Mm -hmm.